Now, anyone out there that watches my channel knows that I have some pretty strong opinions about a lot of things. And because of that, it's not surprising that I get asked quite often to respond to things that other YouTubers say. Now, one person I get asked to respond to probably more than any other YouTuber is James Yeager. Now, I'm not sure why this is, but I'm betting it's because people have seen me and James interact on live chats before, and they know I'm not one of his sycophantic bootlickers. In fact, it's pretty obvious that I usually make it my goal to see how quickly I can make the veins on his forehead start to throb whenever we interact. You know, I usually just let the crazy things that Jaeger says just slide by without comment because mostly they're kind of cute. You know, like the fact that he thinks that uh, semi-autos are as reliable as revolvers, or the fact that he thinks 1911s have to be hand-cobbled together by magic elves for them to be reliable, therefore they can't be mass-produced. But this time Jaeger has said something that people are asking me my opinion on that I actually want to respond to. Now what he said was this old uh, internet saying or, you know, wise tale that the best gun you can have is the gun you have with you. You know, whatever gun you have with you at the time you need a gun, that's the best gun. He says that's bullshit. And you know, Jaeger is many things. He's arrogant, he's opinionated, his new beard kind of makes him look like an angry leprechaun, and let's face it, sometimes he can be a bit of a douche nozzle. But he's a trainer. And if you're going to take tactical training, do you want to take tactical training from some kindly old school marm that thinks everybody's wonderful and everyone's opinion has merit and they should be heard, or do you want to take tactical training from a guy that tells you to shut up and get dirty? So like I'm saying, he's all those things, arrogant, opinionated, douche nozzle, etc. But one thing he's not is wrong. Now you can think anything you want of James Yeager, but he's not going to give you bad tactical advice. As far as I'm concerned, I have looked at the philosophies of lots of these guys, and James Yeager's tactical philosophy is as good as anybody's out there, if not better. So if he's going to tell you something tactical, you should pay attention. And like I said, in this case, he's not wrong. This whole idea that the best gun you can have is the one you have with you, that's just based on the fact that so many people are so lazy when it comes to concealed carry and self-defense. They want to carry a gun that they don't have to put any effort into, and then they want to justify to themselves why they carry a gun that doesn't take any effort. Now, there is a certain logic to saying that pretty much any gun you have is going to do in a bad situation because chances are you're never going to need the gun. And if you do need the gun, chances are you're never going to need to fire it. And if you do need to fire it, chances are just firing it's going to be enough. But if you ever find yourself in a situation where you actually have to actively defend yourself against a live shooter or against someone that doesn't just run away when you need your gun, you're going to need every advantage you can have, and that's going to take a little effort. Now, it's okay to make compromises if you want to make compromises, but realize they're compromises. You can say, mm, I don't think I'll need this many rounds, or mm, I don't think I'll need this big a gun, but realize you're making a compromise based on the fact that you want to be more comfortable and you want to carry less and you want to be less prepared. And when you make that decision to be less prepared to compromise, you have to admit that your gun is not the best gun you could have. In fact, it might be totally inadequate if you ever need it. The gun that you have, the one that's easy to carry, you know, the small, tiny little gun, the LCP, etc., it might be the gun you have to make the best of, but it definitely isn't the best gun you could have. Put a little effort into it. Carry something that's more capable. Be as prepared as you can be within reason. So when James says that the gun you have on you isn't necessarily the best gun you could have, he's absolutely right.